Hi, what's going on guys? Fish here for Reignite TV, and welcome to part 5 of my Armor to God series. This week we're going to talk about the Shield of Faith. So as always, we're going to split it up into two different parts. First we're going to talk about the actual armor part, and then we're going to talk about the characteristics of the armor. So, this is going to be the shield. No, I'm not talking about the t uh, TV show with Agent Coulson and Nick Fury. Uh, you know, this, this shield is obviously one of the main defense pieces of the entire armor set. You know, I'd even go out to say that it's a warrior's best friend. Now, I know some warriors would say, you know, I prefer my sword way better to any shield. But let me, just hear me out real quick. Alright, so the shield, usually held in the offhand. hand. You know, it's your left hand for most people. It, uh, you hold it in your right hand if you're left-handed. And then in your on hand, or your stronger hand, you have your weapon, which in this case is going to be a sword. And that sword by itself, while it's good for attacking, it's not that great in defending. You know, it's a really just a narrow piece of steel that's good at, you know, stabbing and slashing stuff. But when it comes to blocking attacks, it's not that great. Especially when you get projectiles, like arrows, um, is actually what it uses in the Bible passage for the shield of faith. So, the shield, most shields are usually big and blocky. Um, no pun intended there for blocking. But... Uh, basically, you just put it in front of you, and it covers almost your entire body, depending on the size of the shield. And with it, you can control where the shield goes, how you move it, and what body part you protect. So if you want to protect your head, if anything's coming at your head, you just move the shield up in front of your face. If you need to protect something that's down by your ankles, you just lower your shield there. The shield is the most versatile part of the armor of God. That shield can protect any part of your body at any time. That's why it's good at deflecting the arrows, because you never know what side the arrows are going to come from. You know, sometimes they can come from front, sometimes they can come from behind. You know, wherever way that goes, you know, as long as you have that shield, you're going to be protected. That's why it's so important. One of the other things I also like about shields in general is that it gives you, you know, basically two hands to fight. Now, obviously, again, with the sword being in your main hand, you're going to attack with that. But if you didn't have a shield to block enemies' attacks, you know, that sword isn't going to do much. You know, so you can have this close combat where you just block someone and then counter with your attack. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to be attacking anyone pretty soon. And again, the passage in the Bible, talk about the armor of God, talks about flaming arrows, not necessarily frontal combat. But just from a retrospective of how shields work, that's how cool they are. That's why I personally like shields. It's the second favorite part of, my, of the armor, besides the sword, but we'll talk about that in two weeks. So, the characteristics of the shield. This is faith. It's the shield of faith that protects us from the flaming arrows of the enemy. So what is faith? How do we use it? And how does it protect us? Well, faith, according to Paul in Hebrews, or excuse me, not Paul, uh, no one knows who wrote Hebrews. In Hebrews 11.1, 1, it says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of the things not seen. And then later in the chapter, in verse 6, you know, he writes that uh, without faith, it's impossible to please God. You know, Because whoever comes to God must know that he is and that he rewards those who diligently seek him. So, you know, we need faith. It's... Basically, believe in things we can't see. And then we need the faith because that's how, that's, you know, what pleases God. Without it, we can't please God. Because without faith, we can't believe that God's real. Without faith, we can't believe that everything in the Bible is true. And of course, without faith, we can't believe that Jesus is the Messiah, our Savior. Because, you know, I don't know about you, but I wasn't there when Jesus rose from the grave. I wasn't there. You know, when he came back three days later. You know, I need faith to believe that. Just like I need faith to believe that God created the universe in six days. You know, just like I need faith to believe every single story of the Bible. Every single one. I wasn't there for that. Sure, I have written accounts, or we all have written accounts from the Bible, but it still requires an element of faith to believe that everything is true and that everything is God's word. So, faith... It's kind of important, right? I mean, you know, we have love that's important, but again, faith without works is dead. You know, we need that faith to go out and do works. 
but that faith that believes that God really does save people and that God is our Savior and Messiah, that's what's going to keep us safe from the enemy's attacks. When we have all our faith in Jesus Christ, the enemy can't do anything against us. You know, it says in Psalms, I believe, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And that includes flaming arrows. And when we have that shield of faith, and for my case, my left hand, some people your right hand, depends if you're righty or lefty, you know, we now have that full body protection, that versatile protection that will protect us from any attack that the enemy throws our way. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you guys were encouraged by this. Uh, if you have any comments, definitely leave them in the, sec in the comment section below, and of course on Twitter and Facebook. And I'll see you guys next week.